So let's bring in the executive chairman of Yellow Brick Road Home Loans, Mark Burris, following that 10th straight rate hike yesterday. Mark, good to see you. So uh, in your view, what sort of an impact is this going to have on mortgage owners and businesses? Well, everyone's going to say it's oh, only another 25 basis points, but that's 10, 10 rate rises in as many months. But also within those rate rises, we had quite a lot of half percenters. So we're really looking at about 15 or 16 rate rises. That's ridiculously too many. That's way too many. So the effect is, Pete, is that borrowers are going to be mentally affected. So right now, everybody's walking around with a bit of brain damage, to be frank with you. And I've said this a few times, and I'm not going to keep saying it, because you can't keep whacking these borrowers, these mortgage holders in Australia, particularly those who borrowed two or three years ago. You can't just keep whacking them across the chops and expect them to survive. There seems to be a massive lack of empathy and or feeling from our Reserve Bank when they talk about these interest rate rises. They keep talking about data and global inflation and all that other stuff. Who cares? start to think about what effect you're having on Australians, and that's what's really bothering me. Yeah, I mean, the alternative is, though, that inflation runs away, and then the problem becomes worse, right? We've spoken about this. That is the alternative, but the issue is, do we need to have inflation at 2 or 3%? And the alternative, you're right, we don't want a long-term inflation, but the issue is that they created inflation. You know, consumers don't create inflation, governments create inflation by putting yeah. too much money in the system. You know, we just heard uh, uh, Dutton talking about, you know, the economic management and the COVID and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but at the same time, both parties in Parliament, in Cabinet, voted in favour of flooding the economy, and at the state money. level too, flooding the economy with cash. Yeah. And people spent it. So well, you the can't Labor go Party wanted that to go even, because even, inflation's even more here. Too. Sorry, Mark. Yeah, the Labor Party wanted one of those Absolutely. job keeper payments to go no, even no, longer. They did. Absolutely, and uh, so and all of a sudden everybody's now you know playing the blame game, and I'm sick of it. Like, stop playing the blame game. And by yeah. the way, borrowers shouldn't wear the blame game. You know, like. We do, do we really need to get to 2 to 3% inflation? Maybe if um, wages are going up between 3 and 4%, maybe the inflation number should come back up to 3%. So as long as wages are keeping pace with inflation or thereabouts, for a period of time. Let's not get so be so strict about our so-called rules that got developed in 1996 is 2 to 3%. Tell me the magic of 2 to 3%. No one can tell me. Reserve so what should it be? Bring one of your economists up. Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe closer to what the inf wage inflation is. So if wages are going up between 3 and 4%, maybe the new range should be between 3 and 4% so that the standard of living of Australia, which is, gener uh, which is governed by how much my wages go up relative to how much more I've got to pay at the Woolworths supermarket, etc., yeah. maybe those two things should be more aligned. Okay. Do, do you then maybe get to a the wage but price But let's have a discussion low. about it. But, it, but you won't get a wage price spiral if inflation is running around the same number that wages are going up by because people mm. are going to say, oh, I, I, at least we're net even. And by the way, we have not had a wage price spiral in Australia. Mm. Other countries have, but we have not had it. Okay. So we are not seeing you know, wages go up by 6 or 7%. Okay. Now, you're a lender. Uh, my question is for, for not just you, but, but, but mainly the big four banks as well. Do you think they should lower the 3% buffer to allow first home buyers to take advantage of falling house prices at the moment. I definitely do, but all of us as lenders, we have to do what the regulator says. And the regulator, okay. well, they don't tell us how to do this, but the regulator makes a recommendation as to what the buffer should be. If you don't employ the buffer, then the regulator will start to look at your, your lending practices yeah. and maybe require you to hold much more capital against those loans that you lend out on. So gotcha. we all, generally speaking, comply with those regulatory environments. OK, maybe a question for them. OK, just a final one here. You've got a giveaway going on at the moment. Mark, tell us about it to help those in trouble. Well, the most important thing is we're going to give away $12,000 to five people across Australia, but probably importantly above that, I mean, that's important for the five people who win that 12 grand each. But what's important above that, we are trying to get people in Australia to go to ybr.com.au forward slash fair go. We want you to come and tell us your story about how you are affected by the current environment. Are you a fixed rate and you're going to a variable rate or you're on a variable rate three years ago and all of a sudden you're paying three times as much as you used to pay? Tell us your story. We want to create a platform 
of what Australians feel, not just about data, what you feel. And we're going to send that to the Reserve Bank. We're going to say, here, our Reserve Bank Governor, this is the outcome of what you're doing. Because I'm sure the Reserve Bank Governor has not spoken to one person who lives out of the west of Sydney or some part of uh, outside, in, internally in Perth or some, some, somebody in the west of Victoria, mm -hmm. etc., as to how they're actually feeling. What is the effect of these rate rises to these particular individuals? So. Put your, put your story up there, tell us your okay. story, and we're going to give away uh, you know, 60 grand. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, that's a way to humanise uh, the ongoing cost of living crisis. Appreciate it, Mark. Thank you.